All right, hello class, and welcome to our week nine introduction video. It's your professor, Professor Brant Ellsworth. And this week, as we are nearing the end of the term, we're going to be talking about a topic of great relevance. We're looking at climate change. And before we, before we get into this, just a disclaimer that I know that in the past few years, this topic has become highly politicized. Um, meaning that for many people, the way they think about climate change hey, weighs heavily upon their own personal political ideology. Uh, this has become a divisive topic. And I don't, I don't want it to engage in arguments about whether or not climate change is real, or whether or not climate change is man-made, or whether or not any man any action by our federal government to curb pollution or to take a, a stance at stopping the effects of, of man on the environment, whether or not it would have any impact. Just f oblige me, class, regardless of your personal feelings about it, let's just say hypothetically that climate change is happening. And let's just assume that if it is happening, what type of damage, what type of impact could uh, the heating of our, of our, of our, of, of the earth, um, the depletion of the ice caps, the rising of, of, uh, of the ocean waters, what type of impact could that have uh, economically, financially, uh, culturally, what, on the ground, what type of impact could uh, a world in which climate change is happening or has happened, uh, what kind of impact could that have on uh, global conflict? You know, take for instance something as simple as water or clean water. Now imagine just hypothetically that climate change is happening and you live in a part of the world like Sudan. And for those of you who are unaware, Sudan is currently in the midst of one of the biggest uh, droughts and famine um, that they have ever experienced. And many people point to the type of changes that come from climate change. There is just uh, the Sahara Desert is expanding in size and it is swallowing up entire countries as, as it's happening in, in Sudan. Now as the as this drought has increased the size of the desert, has dried up uh, arable um, well, has dried up waters, has limited the amount of ar arable um, farmland, suddenly this country uh, is unable to produce enough um, water or food for its own people, causing um, many Sudanese to flee. Uh, we see an increase in refugees coming from the Sudan. We see an uptick in conflict as that nation People in power, people who are desperate, have begun fighting amongst themselves, trying to get their hands on valuable resources. And so if that's just one country right now, Sudan, what would happen if this is something larger? What if it becomes more difficult for nations to get clean water? What if drought or the changes of climate limit the amount of food production that a country could have? To what extent would a country be willing to go in order to secure uh, drinking water for its people? Right now, and I know this doesn't make a lot of uh, doesn't get a lot of news coverage, but right now China is making a play in Nepal and in northern Afghanistan or Pakistan. Um, they are making a play for drinking water. Uh, right now, at a section where three countries—India, Pakistan, and is it Pakistan, India, and China? I believe those are the three countries. Where those three countries intersect, China has been putting its military on the ground and has slowly begun carving away the, um, parts of, of, of the uh, mountains up there, which uh, proved to be the, the, the snowfall proves to be the drinking water for both Pakistan and India. I believe those are the two countries. Um, and so China is taking water from the very source and is funneling it into China, which is limiting the amount of water that's going into Pakistan and into India. Okay, think about the implications of that play. Now, albeit China is a superpower, 
right? I'm sure Pakistan is not ready to go to war with China over drinking water, given that all three countries uh, are in possession of, of nuclear weapons. But imagine a world in which climate change becomes worse. You could certainly see that something as simple as siphoning off somebody else's drinking water is cause enough for war. So this week, we'll be looking at both studies that the United States has conducted in which they've assessed uh, what impact climate change would have on local and international interests. Um, so we have two assignments. We have a discussion board and a response this week. I look forward to your comments as we think about this very divisive topic and one that I think we all should be quite alarmed about. Thank you very much. We look forward to seeing your work.